Thank you for joining us on this Friday, where coverage you can count on begins with a community coming together to honor a young life, a life taken way too soon. It all happened at Greenbrier High School to remember Robert Ballard. News Channel 6's Ashley Doss just back from that game, and there she is live in our newsroom with the story. Ashley? Thanks, Brad. I attended the first football game of the season at Greenbrier High School, where an outstanding student athlete lost his life earlier this year. After meeting his mom and little brother, tonight was truly an honor. He lost an incredible young man, Robert Ballard Jr., in a tragic accident on Farts Hill Lake. Football was something that he just, he lived for. He literally lived for football. And because of his determination, Lakia Collins was able to take the field at Greenbrier High for the first time since her son passed away. There if they were losing, if they were down by 70, if they were down by five, Robert was going to play as though he, he was winning. He was going to win the game. That was Robert. In the classroom, on the football field, at home, in life, that was Robert. Ballard died earlier this year after drowning at Lake Springs in Appling, Georgia. Tonight, he was honored by students, teammates, and an entire community for the first football game of the season. We've been preparing for this game for months now, and uh, I feel good. Our, our kids are ready to play. Um, it's a special night to honor a special young man, and uh, we just hope our play and our effort honors uh, his memory. Coach Tony Kramer says he impacted lives on and off the field. I, I think it brought the Greenbrier community a lot closer together. And, uh, you know, that, that legacy right there is more than enough. Students fill the sands wearing all red for red out for Robert with love. His friends and staff of Greenbrier High reflect on their favorite memories of Robert. He was just a great teammate, a great brother, a great student, a great friend, a great son, just a great role model, someone to be around every day. Don't know why things like that happen, but uh, there's a reason for it. And I believe he's waiting on us when we all, when we all uh, transition over. So I'm looking forward to, to meeting him someday. It's a great honor to even know him as a friend and to cheer for him. Uh, this game for him is, it's, it's, I can't even put it in words. That Robert taught me everything and I love him. Tonight they honor Robert by retiring his jersey before the game, number 29. His little brother even gave the honorary coin toss. His mom says she wants his legacy to live on. I will not stop coming to these games. I'll be here every Friday evening, and I'll be cheering as though Robert's out there still playing. In addition to tonight's game, Robert's mom is now calling on Georgia governor and state legislator to form a law that would put regulations on the distance that people can swim in lakes across the state. That name, you ask? Robert's Law. Brad, back to you. Ashley, we thank you. Develop